What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this gorgeous freshwater pearl belly chain that's actually half pearl and half chain in the back. And you can use this technique to create your own design. So let's get right into it. Well, I went ahead and lined up the beads and pearls in the order that I'd like to have it strung on the wire. So what you wanna do is grab your green cutter, and cut the wire. And we're gonna start off by closing off one end of the wire so then we can begin stringing on the beads. That way when you are stringing the beads, it won't come off the opposite end. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your crimp cover that also comes with a loop that you can attach the jump ring to the end and slide it on. I refer to this as a Pac-Man mouth in one of our previous videos and the reason being is because it does have this kind of opening and you always want the Pac-Man mouth facing away from the beads towards the end of the wire. So then you want to take two crimp beads and use your crimping tool and you're first going to use this bottom section of the crimper tool where it looks like a heart. And you're gonna go ahead and grab that crimp with the plier and you're not gonna press down just yet until you grab the wire and you put the wire into the crimp bead and once the crimp bead is on the wire then you're gonna go ahead and press down the crimp bead so it creates a little bit of a heart shape just like that and then what you want to do is turn the crimp bead to the side and have it be perpendicular to the crimper tool and you're gonna insert it into the top section of the crimper tool just like this press down and it'll fold over and create this type of look right here even go back and kind of press down again make sure it's fully crimped down and you want to repeat this method two times with this smaller size crimp bead because once you do it twice you have double the security so then just go ahead and insert it again, bring it all the way close to the previous uh, crimp bead and press down again to create that little heart shape. And then perpendicular inside of the top part and press down once again so it folds over on top of one another, just like that. Cut that excess wire off so you just have the two crimp beads at the end. Slide the crimp cover to the end of the wire and use your plier to close the crimp cover over the two crimp beads. So this gives you more of an aesthetic look. It covers the crimp beads and it also gives you a ring space so you can later attach your jump ring and clasp. So now that we have one section done, you can go ahead and kind of tug on it and test it to make sure it's fully tight in there and it's not gonna come off. And you can go ahead and start stringing your beads onto the wire until all the beads are on the wire. So now that we have the pearls and beads on the wire, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the opposite side of the connection. And we're gonna go ahead and take the crimp cover and always have the Pac-Man mouth facing away from the beads and slide that onto the wire. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our crimper tool to grab our crimp bead and put it onto the wire and slide it down there always has to be complete fluidity within the wire you don't want it to be tight and have tension to where it's not able to move around comfortably and freely and then you're gonna go ahead and press down and create that little heart shape with the crimper bead and press down to close that shut and then just repeat that one more time to have the double crimp beads like that and you can go ahead and cut that excess wire off and then use your tool to close this section shut and this is what it should look like next you want to go ahead and take your chain of choice and cut it to your preferred length 
and since this chain is a little bit on the tighter link side I'm gonna go ahead and just expand the last link with the owl tool just so the jump ring fits a little bit more comfortably inside I'm gonna repeat that to the opposite side as well then you can go ahead and grab your jump ring open it up with your set of pliers and then hook it on to the chain once it's on the chain, you can go ahead and connect it to the end of the crimp cover and use your set of pliers to bend and close it shut. Remember, you want to hear that click and then bring it back. That click will indicate that it's fully closed and there's no opening left behind. Next, you'll want to go ahead and take another jump ring with your set of pliers and attach it to the end of the crimp cover. Also attach your clasp. Use your set of pliers to bend and close it shut. And for the opposite side, we're gonna go ahead and attach another jump ring and in this case, I'll also be attaching about four inches of an extension chain. I always recommend adding an extension chain if you're selling your products because this gives your customers the ability to wear it long or short if they please. And then you just want to close up the jump ring just like that. This is what it looks like when it's on. And if you like it all pearl, you can just do it all pearl and add a clasp instead in the back. Or if you like just the chain look instead, you can do a full chain look as well. I love this chain because of those like flattened out sections that makes it super shiny. I also brought this piece that I created and I hung a little cross charm at the end. This chain actually has really wide links so you can clasp it at any section that you want so let's say you bring it around and you want to have it hanging below the pearl you can just put it like that and the clasp can like hang over here let me bring it closer so you guys can see so this is what it looks like together if you like that look you can also you know bring this around and have it be the pearl in the front or you can even bring this around and have it be a pearl and amethyst moment. People love wearing belly chains, not only because it's cute AF, but people also use it to put it at a set length. So let's say we're to not use an extension chain, you were to make it just according to your waist size. But your fitness goals were to cinch your waist and lose some weight this keeps you in check and it helps you track your goals so people love that you can also create this piece with elastic instead so you can just slide it onto your waist or you can use silk cord and just tie a clasp to the end as well if you like the pearl look you can keep the pearls going all around the back you don't have to add a chain if you like just the chain you can do just the chain instead so this is just some inspo for you guys to see how you guys can create a belly chain and you can browse our shop for so many different styles of chains charms pearls and gemstones that you can create to your own personal desired look if you haven't already subscribed to our channel be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're here to show you new jewelry tricks and tips every single week.